All right. <clears throat> Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Strong honor, glory, and praises go up and out to the Most High Yahweh, Yahuwah. By Hashem, on Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah, Yahweh, Shah. For me, Yahshua Allah. Once again, all honor, glory, and praises go up and out to the Almighty Allah, Hayyam, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Giving them honor, glory, and thanks again on his uh, set apart convocation for allowing me to have a mind to reference him and a mouth to speak. Thus says the Most High, and not my own opinion. I'll be coming out the scriptures like I always do. Appreciate you, Most High. Uh, I'm going to jump right in with this uh, house top gospel. House top. Speak it on the house top. Speak it on the high hills, up on the high hills. Make sure the word get known. Whatever you do, wherever you go. All right. No delay. Going straight to Luke. Chapter 22 and 27. All right. All the wickedness that's going on under the firmament. Nobody referencing the creator still. Got to put it out there. Um, once again. This creation got pride. They got pride because they're following the king of pride, right? The prince of darkness. They got pride. People reverence their family members and their jobs, stuff like that. Those are the things that make a move, you know, and their mouth will open, say something in reverence to those particular things, holidays. We're still in the holiday. Matter of fact, today is on um, what is it? New Year. Come to think of, so it's New Year. So people is out doing their thing. Hey, I'm thankful and blessed to be able to talk against it because I used to be with it. No matter if I was freaking at a party somewhere on New Year's Eve, I was somewhere doing some stupid shooting guns, all kind of madness. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to actually uh actually have a discussion yesterday with an employee about that situation because they kept saying what they was going to do how they was going to do it all the measurements they were going to go through just so they could shoot their gun and all of this and all of that and i just stopped and thought about it you know i'm like you know i i, I put a halt to the conversation because i do remember when i was one of the same you know what i'm saying but at the same time i still gotta let it be known that it's foolishness and it's vain it's foolishness and it's vain and the more that we continue to practice stuff like that and lace that stuff up in our system, man, the more we just continue to be prideful and disrespectful to the creator. I'm learning every day. As wickedness rises, the more I get closer to the most high. So with no further delay, I'm going to Luke chapter 22, verse 27. It's a lot. All right. Luke chapter 22, verse 27. For whether is greater, he that sitteth at me or he that serve, right? It's not he that sitteth at me, but I am among you as he that serveth that's my opening precept i'm among you as he that serveth i ain't nobody i ain't nobody i can't number myself in the remnant of the 144 i ain't nobody but the only thing i'm saying is that i'm thankful that the most high is allowing me to have a shot at it you know and the only way you got a shot at it if you reverence the most high give him his honor give him his due give him his praises you know, and continue to try to strive and do the best you can to respect his will. Let's go again. Luke 22 and 27 says, whether it's greater, he that sitteth at me or he that serveth, it's not he that sitteth at me, but I am among you as he that serve. Yes, I am. All praise to the most high. I am among you as he that serve. All right. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 27. Matthew, chapter 10, 
Verse 27. Book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 27. So, Lucky, let me mark my scripture, y'all. Right? What I tell you in darkness, that ye in the light. That, so Lucky, what I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in the light. Right? And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. Upon the housetops. Verse 27, Matthew chapter 10. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. So that's a commandment from the most high, from, from the Mashiach, instructing us how to go about our business, doing the work for the most high, being about the father's business. That should be our business. When I say our, only the remnant and the 144,000, everybody else is out here doing the will and the work of Satan. It's simple. It is what it is, man. You know, we got to be thankful, continually being thankful to the Most High for bringing us out of this wicked, filthy place, y'all. Never forget it. When you wake up in the morning, start talking. Give him honor, give him glory, give him praises. Appreciate that thing, man. Reflect back on it. Because if he didn't put his hands on you, dog, who knows? Who knows? All right, I gave y'all the statistics amongst our people last week, like the brother and his sister. So obviously that was like over a year or so ago. Most I don't know how it done went up from there. That's just about as high as it could have got. But you could be numbered amongst them, you know? You could be numbered amongst them. So one more time, Matthew 10 and 27 says, what I tell you in darkness, speak that speak ye in light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetop. All right? That's what I'm out here to do. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to keep moving. Luke 13 and 24. Book of Luke chapter 13, verse 24. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able because a lot going to be done fell away. A lot just refuse to come back or a lot just refuse to honor the creator. You know what I'm saying? A lot have been uh, bound up out here in the spider web of Satan or caught up in the rapture of madness. You know, caught up in the rapture of madness, wickedness, deceitfulness, right? Foolishness, folly. All of that stuff, man. Let's get it and go. Luke chapter 13, verse 24. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. And that's only, that's at the last minute. That's at the last minute. You know, when that destruction come and all of that, people going to want to try to repent. At the last minute. Once again, you know how when you go to the hospital and somebody on their dying bed, people like to say, hey, he made peace with his maker and all this and all that. Man, you can't live your life, your whole, whole life, and then at the last second think you can enter in at the straight. Man, you got to put some work in. Like I said, we we, we, we chump the most house as if he's some kind of human or some kind of imbecile or something. Just put yourself in that same position. You think somebody gonna be able to just rape, rape, rape you all your life? And then at the last second, you're gonna forgive them? Come on, man. I'm just using that for an example. It ain't have to be rape. It could be some other stuff. Somebody who just torturing you all your life. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who constantly just keep just just pissing on you all your life. And then you they, they, you they expect you to let them in continually, you knowing what they're going to do if you let them in. Come on, man. Y'all ain't greater than the creator. I'm not greater than the creator. We got to think outside of ourselves. Man. Got to stop with the madness. Man. Got to stop with the madness. Man. But I'm out here to speak it on the housetop. I'm moving on. The book of Hebrews, 
chapter 6, verse 3 through 12. Hebrews chapter 3, I mean 6, verse 3 through 12. But I'm going to move on. Can't say you didn't know. I'm going to speak it in the wind, and I'm going to speak it on the house talk. Because if I get on the house talk, this says the most high. I know it, I'm prophesying to the wind at that point. Right? Hebrews chapter 6. All right. Verse 3 through 12. And this will we do if the Almighty Allah permit. You know, so in this going out to the, the brothers and the sisters, stay strong, man. Don't fall back. Don't let your old ways consume you. Don't let nobody around you that you had love for all your life consume you. It's, I ain't telling you to stop loving them. But you need to love the creator more. You need to love the creator more. You know, we got everything. Like people say out here, we got our priorities mixed up because we wasn't taught how to prioritize, right? Yeah, we used to always say put God first, but nobody did it. That was just something that came out the mouth. No one actually did it. So we see now when we start putting the most high first, we start having problems in our lives. You know what I mean? Because no one actually ever put that phrase into practice. Once you start putting that in practice, the most high start revealing who wicked, who wicked or what wickedness is, what rebellion is, what is a sinner, right? What are uh, people or children of darkness? He start revealing all of that. So we can see that thing when we start prioritizing Thus says the most high. The world hate the most high. That's just it. The world hate the most high. Your family, my family, and every other family, they hate the most high. Because why? What well, he's what you call a party poop. He's what you call the one that's gonna rain on your parade. Right? We've been doing wickedness, doing what do how we want to do what we want to do so long. When the most high show up, y'all start people start hating. I'm glad I didn't have that spirit. People start hating the most high. So he's exposing every wicked individual, every wicked spirit, every wicked act, every abominable act. All right. All any and all things that fall up under them categories, he's exposing it, man. So we still got a chance, family. Repent. Respect the most high. Return to the most high. Respect him. Do the best you can. Do the best you can. You know what I'm saying? Do the best you can. Don't let your inner self tell you what your outer self is showing you that, that you know, the two are contrary or what have you. Don't let your inner self try to put, keep you down from what your outer self is showing you to be contrary to the most high. This is what I'm saying. All right, so I'm speaking it on the house top. I'm moving on. Luke chapter, I mean, uh, Salaki, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 3 through 12. This will we do if the all Allah him permit, if he permit, which he's still permitting right now. But it's just about wrapped up. You know why? Because a lot of brothers and, and, and sisters, especially the brothers, a lot of brothers can see and sense that, you know, it's, it done got to be like useless talking to people. I do it every day. You know, it's just like talking to a brick wall. Talking, it, it, it's no starting point. There's no starting point. All the knowledge and information that the Most High bestowed upon the remnant and the brothers that go out here going hard, there's no starting point to even talk to the people. They so sucked up into this place, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it's embarrassing, man, and it's hard hurting. But at the same time, I just go back to the Most High and appreciate him for showing me that it's a bad thing, dude. All right, Hebrews 6, chapter 3, verse 12. And this will we do if the Almighty Allah and permit. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift. What? The heavenly gift meaning what? Him pulling the veil over your, from over your eyes so you can see. All this time we've been in captivity, he done showed you, gave your heritage back. You know what I'm saying? Showed you who he is and what he expects now. Showed you that you've been lied to, deceived. You know, he just unexposed everything, like I said a second or two ago. 
He put all that out there on the table, and it's still out there on the table right now. Just keep on looking at every TV show people watch, every commercial that they watch. It's all wicked, man. I think the most alpha showing it to me. All the music we listening to, I don't care if it was R&B back then, rap, it don't matter. All of it wicked. Just listen to the lyrics. All of it wicked, man. So, it is for it. Verse 4, chapter 6 of Hebrews. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the set apart spirit. Wow. Set apart spirit woke you up. That's the spirit that, that was sent from Hamashiach Yehavashiach to wake Negroes up and for Negroes to go out and wake others up, you know, and to tell them or introduce them back or bring them back to the creator. You understand? Bringing them back to the creator step by step or uh, precept by precept. You understand? But it's a strong fault battle or a hard fault battle. Some folk give up. Some people give up, man. But then you got some, you know, and, 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 and with that being said, it's a hurting thing. Because some people have mates and stuff that one of the mates may give up and just say, you know, I tried. And then they, they just give up and go back in the, in, in, into the arms of Satan. They give up and go on back to their vomit. People have become immune to it. I understand it. That what, that's what was in your baby bottle. When you were getting nursed, you were getting nursed with vomit. Vomit from Satan himself. It, he, she, or whatever it is. That's what you were getting nursed with without a shadow of a doubt. And all the years that go by and build up, that's your meal. That's what you eat. So when the delicacy come, you reject it. You reject it. You're too accustomed to the abomination. Verse 4, chapter 6 of Hebrews, once again, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the set apart spirit and have tasted the good word of the Almighty Allah. And it was a good thing. Somebody came and told you, hey, I found out who found, I finally found out who it was who shot your family member or who killed your family member or who did this or who did that, who broke in your home or who did this, that. And you've been wondering the whole time, all your life, what they like to say, you never had closure on a situation. Now somebody come along and tell you, you relieved of that thing. Now you know, but what you're going to do after that is a whole nother ball game. Not saying that you got to go take action. Not saying that one has to go take action, but the mystery had never been solved. Just like the mystery of why we were hated, why this, why we was in slavery, why all of this. When the most I come and reveal that stuff to you, some kind of way, a lot of us become unworthy. You know what I mean? Unworthy. So let's go. Verse five says, and have tasted the good word the almighty Allah and the powers of the world to come or the age to come right or the age to come if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance right if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance seeing they crucify to themselves the son Hamashiach Yahweh of the Allah of the French and put him to an open shame. Mm -hmm. All this time, all your life, even to this day, people are always using the name of the Messiah, so to speak, the name that they got written in this book. Everybody said they believe in this and they believe in that. Like I said. When the time really come to show that you believe, you put him to open the shame. You become a liar, a hypocrite, an infidel, a deceiver, a loser, a failure. You become all that, man. All right? Verse 7 says, For the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh off upon it and bringeth forth herbs, meat for them by whom it is dressed right receive his blessing from the almighty Allah because that's who it's that's who it comes from right that's who it comes from 
that revelation or that revealing all these mysteries that you had no clue about. You know what I'm saying? He rained upon you and he brought it up. He made it sprout up. He brought it to the forefront. Right? But were we um, receptive? Right? Were we pleased with it? Did we appreciate it? It's the deal. Verse 8. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected. Right? And is not unto cursing whose end is to be burned. All those hypocrites, all those who fall away, right? All those hypocrites and all those who fall away, like verse 6 said, all those who are ashamed, you know, to stand up and represent the Most High, you know, all those who are prideful, pride is first. You're too prideful to represent the Most High. But anything and everything else will come out your mouth and your feet will gravitate or move to anything else. But when it comes to the Most High, you can't do nothing. Not one thing. This is the problem that the Most High got with his creation. All right? Can't be mad at him about that. Verse 9. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you. The beloved is the remnant. 144,000 strangers and sojourners that's dwelling amongst the children of Israel that's going to continue to hang in there. They're going to continue to hang in there. They're going to be uh, 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 teammates, so to speak, with that remnant that's going to uh, obtain power from the Creator, or that, that, that 144 that's going to obtain power from the Creator to demolish the wickedness in this place. So you better get on the right team. Better hurry up and get it right. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. Verse 9 says, but beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation. You see? Though we thus speak, for the almighty Allah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye, which ye have shewed toward his name, and in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister right verse 11 and we desire that every one of you do shoot the same diligence to the full assurance of the hope until the end and that's what we got we just got hope that's why i said i ain't nobody i can't account myself to be nobody you know what i'm saying but i hope to continue to work that I could just be a part of the remnant. Nothing else. Just let me be a part of the remnant. Don't throw me back into this, this nasty, wicked place. Because the Sodomites and the Babylonians and the Egyptians and the fallen ones are going to consume me. They're going to consume me, man. And I'm going to be one that they drag around. I'm going to be one that they drag around because I came into the wall. I received the gift that the Most High was talking about earlier. In the scriptures in in uh six uh six chapter of Hebrews, and I tasted of the good works of the most high. Then I turned my back on them, they're gonna chew me up alive. Verse 12 says that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. C O T P. But somebody gonna make it. Children of the promise. Somebody's going to make it. All right? The children of the prophets. Somebody's going to make it. So I'm talking and teach, uh, uh, bringing out messages towards that. Like I said, somebody's going to make it. I'm going to keep struggling and striving in hopes that I can make it like the scripture said in verse 11. Just in hopes that I can make it. All right? That's all I can do, y'all. Keep doing what I can do. All right? Just don't turn my back on the most high. It might get rough. It might get hard. I got to keep striving. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12. Right? Got to keep striving. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. And that's flat out. When I get up on the housetop, right? I'm, I'm, this is what's happening. I'm using great plainness of speech. I'm gonna speak the 
the dialect or the language, whomever I'm around, so they understand clearly what I am talking about. Right? We understand everything else out here in the world, but when it comes to the most high, people's ears get clogged up, pride show up, their feet start trying to move. Next thing you know, you by yourself, man. But the most high showing you at that point, who was on this team and who ain't. He said, go on the housetop and, 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 and speak it. Verse 12 in 2 Corinthians, the third chapter says, seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. Great plainness of speech. All right. First Timothy chapter 1 and 15. First Timothy chapter 1 and 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Hamashiach, Yahushat, Yahusha, came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief, right? Because I was one of the head top notch sinners. Chief, forerunner, get like me, right? Get like me. I helped destroy the generation, man. I helped destroy our people, man. Yeah, I did. But for some reason, the most high found it worthy enough for me to come out and give me and put it uh put the set apart spirit on me. And I can't get over that yet. Why, why, why did he do that to me? That's crazy. And that's what makes people to think I'm crazy. Because all of a sudden, I'm not doing what I used to do, and I'm talking against what I used to do. Make me look like I'm crazy. Not understanding they not understanding the will of the most high that I supposed to dwell amongst them for a short period of time, then get took away from them to go right back to introduce them to Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, Yahusha, you know, via the Most High Yahweh Yahuwah. That was my job. I get it and I got it. Now I'm gonna keep moving forward. First Timothy chapter one and 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, Yahusha came into the world to save sinners once again, of whom I am chief. So, to save sinners. So, the, the word going out to you sinners. Not the righteous right now, but the sinners. Repent. Stop being prideful. Do what you're supposed to do. Thus says the Most High. Right? Don't be shamed. You ain't shamed to represent Satan. Do something good for a change in your life. Because all the things that you think you're doing good, they're not good. Not in the sight of the creator. You can be self, self um, respectful and deceive yourself and think so. You got the right to do so. But there's a judgment coming. There's a judgment on both sides. There's a reward on both sides. You get reward for being wicked and you get a reward for being righteous. Do what you do. Do what you do. Okay? Common sense right there, y'all. Right? Common sense. If you treat people right in the world, what? They say you might, and that ain't a guarantee that you get treated right. But what I'm saying is you do, you definitely, you break in somebody's house or you as a robber, you keep doing all these kind of things, what they call in the world karma, which is the most high coming back to tag that, that butt, you're going to get, you're going to reap what you sow. So we do know about all these kind of sayings and all these things. Once again, when the most high literally telling you that he has came to save sinners, People don't gravitate to that, all right? But anyway, and that goes right back to Luke 13, chapter 21st, 24th verse, right? That precept, that same precept. Go right back to Luke 13, chapter, you know, and the 24th verse that I read earlier. By striving to enter into the straight gate for many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. So with that being said, Ramashiach said that he came to save sinners. So you can enter into the straight gate. All right? Let's go. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Most High. 
speaked out in the ears of my people the word of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth. That's what I got to do. That's why he pulled me out from amongst the same people that I used to be destroying our nation with. He pulled me out from amongst them. Now I got to go right back and say the same thing. Who? Verse 5, chapter 15, verse 1, second address. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Most High. Commandment. All right. Commandment. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 21 through 25. Book of Isaiah chapter 5, 21 through 25. Go unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight, who think they're clever. And this ain't just going out to the to the children of Israel, because the children of Israel job was to go out and teach the world. Once again, so you can't just keep it to yourself. You're supposed to go out and spread to the world. You're supposed to be front runners and leaders of the world in righteousness, bringing everybody back to worship the most high. Those who got an ear to hear, that's what the job is, and that's what the job is going to be anyway. Don't really matter. The kingdom is set up with that, for that, about that. Right? That's it. So here we go. Verse 21, Isaiah 5. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe. Not good for those who are wise in their own eyes, prudent in their own sight. Doing me. I got my own answers. Don't nobody tell me what to do. I do what I want to do the way I want to do it. Listening to Satan. I'm a free spirit. Not good. What you better do if you got that spirit on you, you better pray the most high don't allow you to keep living and get you up out of here. And then it ain't over then. Because after death comes judgment. But if he make your behind stay here and live to see this, it ain't looking good. Verse 22. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle. Strong drink. Right? So you're going to mink, you know, men of strength to mingle strong drink. I'm a man of strength. The most high done made me a man of valor. You know what I'm saying? One who want to carry the sword and the shield and the staff. But if I go out here and mix up the philosophy of the world, water down what the most high done gave me, trying to please man, you know what I'm saying? And get sucked up and devoured once again, trampled on. By the children of Sodom, hmm? by the rulers of Egypt, by the princes of darkness, right? Mixing, mingling, strong drink. Born to them, verse 22 says, that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. Ain't that something? Which justify the wicked for reward. That's what I'm saying. No, sir. No, sir. Which justify the wicked for reward. You know, that's what our family members are doing. We top notch running for that. So we sucking up all our people into that. They set up our little brothers and you know sisters out here in the rap world, in the entertainment world, in the sports world, and all this kind of stuff to justify the wicked for reward. And it, it's not a true reward. If the devil give you something, boy, he ain't the devil. If he rewards you honestly, he's not the devil. So don't think that these people rich. Don't think that they, they got all this luxurious stuff. All of it is fictional fantasy. Because at the blink of an eye, they're going to put him out, man. If you ain't... Ooh, I was about to say something. If you are not eating feces and drinking urine... And continuing to sacrifice family members, continuing to humiliate yourself by a grown man sitting in Santa Claus's lap or, you know what I'm saying, you playing the role of a woman when you a man or vice versa or you a woman out here continually pushing that lesbian agenda. If you don't continue doing that, it's all over for you because that's the God you serve. So here we go. But this is what our people are doing. 
at a rapid rate. And the most high is killing all people too at a rapid rate. Just for doing that. Now our people gonna be looking stupid. And when it's time for them, nobody gonna be left but the children of the prophets. They gonna hate it. But that ain't what they want. They want wickedness. So here we go. Verse 22 says, Warn to them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. See? See? They take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Trick, deceive him. Innocent people who don't know no better, knowing that we always have been looking for a Messiah in this torn and beat down life that we were born into. Always looking for a Messiah. So it's always somebody slick or some kind of wizard or some kind of uh, uh, crafty dog to step up out of all people who shaking hands with the puppet master's minions to, 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 to um, bring us on into the arms of, Mon to, of, of, of Mole for sacrifice. And I'm, I'm, I'm coming with that. Believe that. I'm coming with that. So, verse 24 says, Therefore, as the fire devoured the stubble, and the flame consumed the chaff, so their root shall be as rottenness, and their blossom shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the Most High of hosts, and despised the word of the set-apart one of Israel, and despised the word of the set apart one of Israel and loving, loving the weight of the Prince of Darkness. Loving it, loving it. Verse 25, therefore is the anger of the most high kindled against his people and he hath stretched forth his hand against them and have smitten them and the hills did tremble and their carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. So we see that, right? Continually, continually, we keep seeing all these little so-called rappers with this little gay agenda they pushing. We keep seeing them get out of here. I ain't mad at all. I ain't mad at all. If I can condemn my own way from destroying my people, surely I can condemn that. Surely I can condemn that, all right? Good luck. Surely I can condemn that, right? Finishing verse 25. Hold on. Let's read that again. Let's read that again. Verse 25 says, Therefore is the anger of the Most High kindled against his people, and he hath stretched forth his hand against them, and hath smitten them, and the hills did tremble, right? Yeah, they trembled, but they're still doing the same thing. He don't have to shut it all the way down. And their carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. That's the most high's word, not my word, because I can't save it. Only thing I can do is come out here on the housetop and tell you, you got a chance to save yourself. You got a chance to save yourself. Moving on. You got a chance to save yourself. Thus says the most high. All right. Thus says the Most High. Lamentation chapter four, verse one through six. Lamentation chapter four, verse one through six. How has the gold become dim? I don't know. Yes, I do, because I'm out here talking about it. I'm on the house top screaming it out. How has the gold become dim, the most high is referencing the princes of Judah, strong ones of Judah, all the ones that got all the talent, all the wit, right? The front runners, the madness. How has the gold become dim? How has the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. These stones are poured out in the top of every street, exposed, right? Getting crushed now. 
getting crushed. Crushed, turning into dust. Turning into dust. When you wore a rock, you was a stone at first. Pure gold. Gold, the most I said. Verse two, the precious sons of Zion. The precious sons of Zion. Comparable to fine gold. Gold is one of the greatest conductors. I done told my brothers, gold is one of the greatest conductor. A conductor is something or a mineral or element that transfers energy. All right? It transfers energy. You know, you got a battery terminal, but it ain't made out of gold. It transfers energy from the battery to the starter, from the starter to the engine, so it can work. So if it was gold, you know how quick that information will shoot through there? I don't know if y'all hear me. Or do y'all understand that? Gold is a strong, very, very, very potent conductor to receive this information from the creator. Just like our father Jacob and Jacob's ladder. Up and down they come, they go. You did it on a high level. Very, very, very high level. All right? On a very, very high level. People don't know nothing about you. When you're dealing, dealing on a level like that, people don't know nothing about you. Matter of fact, let me get it again. Let me let me explain. Let the most high explain this before I move on. Second edge of chapter four, verse 23. Right? Or verse 21. For like it's the ground, is this one of my favorite precepts when I got a million of them. For like it's the ground, is given unto the wood and the seed to his floods. Even so, that they that dwell upon the earth may understand nothing but that which is upon the earth, right? They don't understand nothing but that which is upon the earth. And if that's all you understand, all you understand is wickedness because the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. But referring and going back to that gold, and that conduction, transferring of energy from the, the fine sons of Zion, from the 144 that's coming back to the Most High, that's going to receive this, that's, that already start receiving the energy and going through the transformation, getting rejected from the world, getting rejected from his family members. They see the change. Stay strong in the change. All right? You don't got your gift back, as we read earlier in Hebrews 6. Scripture says, uh, second address four in the 23rd, um, so like in the 21st verse, was that every, even so, they that dwell upon the earth may understand nothing but that which is upon the earth. And he that dwelleth above the heavens may only understand the things that are above the height of the heavens. That's the energy you receive. That's the information that you receive. This is the level of technology wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Most High is going to continue to give us if we stay with him, keep doing what we're supposed to do. This is it. But you can only get that energy if you're the greatest conductor. All right? Amen. I hope y'all get this. Verse 2 says in chapter 4 of Lamentations, the precious sons of Zion Comparable to fine gold. How are they esteemed? As earthen pitchers. Now you see what I'm saying. Understanding nothing of being cast down to the earth when the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now he's saying, how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? Nothing. Right? Nothing. Less than nothing. The work of the hands of the potter. And that's an exclamation point at the end of this sentence. So he pissed off. The work of the hands of the potter. Verse 3, even the sea monsters draw out the breast pride. They give suck to, they, to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel. Like the ostrich, ostriches, ostriches in the wilderness, they become cruel. Right? Turn it back on the kids soon they have them. Might go back and attack. They've come, they have become cruel. They turn their back on their own. They only have kids by men who they think that they can reel in like some kind of fish that's in the river. Then when the man leaves, they hate the kids. 
They hate the kid. That's wicked, man. That's super wicked. So now you got people <laughs> doing any and everything to the kids because it didn't work out for their own selfish gain. Verse four, the tongue of the sucking child cleaved to the roof of his mouth for thirst, crying out to the mama, help me, help me. But what do they do? Pull his arm and drag him, slap him, do all kind of madness, beat on the kid. Look at the kid and call him out by his father's name, taking it out on the trip, on the children. Cussing the baby out. I've seen women call little bitty children B I T C H's. I've seen it. Our people call it little bitty kids B I T C H's, a little girl, because she's not complying with her wicked mindset. Her child is not complying with her wicked mindset, so she calling the, the child out in public like that. I've seen it, bro. Verse 4 says, The tongue of the sucking child cleave it to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask for bread and no man breaketh it unto them. No, because it's a hit and quit deal. They ain't my kids. But you keep laying the seed, but you ain't taking care of the seed. It's a hit and quit deal. Now the sister got six different kids. I mean, six kids from six different fathers. Some of them don't even know who the fathers is, y'all. Some don't even know who the father is, man. The most I talking about it. Verse four, the tongue of the sucking child cleaved to the roof of his mouth for thirst, man. Cause ain't no child support, ain't enough money in the welfare or the food stamp. Cause the mama taking the welfare and the food stamp going out buying weed, buying weed, weave fingernails, forest clothes, going out clubbing. That's where the money going. That's where the money going. I was telling y'all, like verse two says up in here, it says, how are they esteemed as earth and pictures? The work of the hands of the potter? You done fell off, man, way down, way below zero. So let's move on, verse five. They that did, they that, they that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets now. They that were brought up in scarlet embrace <laughs> dung hills. Dung is S H I T. They embrace dung hills. And we love it. Now, we love it. Just look around, man. Look. As you look around, be thankful. The most I brought you out of that thing, man. Just look around. Look how filthy this place is. Look around. I was in Ooh, boy, I work in automotive. I was in a car so filthy, his sister's car yesterday so filthy, it was ridiculous, man. The smell was unbearable. I feel, but I feel sorry for anybody coming and encounter with that, but it's not good. It's not good, man. It's not good. If she can't smell how bad that car smells, I don't even know if she know when it's time to take a bath. That's how bad that was. But that's just one example. I go through this every day at work, and I, that's what some of the stuff that triggers me and pisses me off. When I'm out here, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't became extra filthy, man. Extra filthy. And we love it. We love it. All them dumb songs that they got on the radio now. People ride around bouncing. They're not listening to what they saying. Man, we love it. We love it, man. You hear me? We love it. So, verse 5 says... They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. Wow. They that were brought up in scarlet embraced dung hills. Verse 6 says, For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment. And no hands stayed on her. It's greater than Sodom. It's greater than Sodom. So how is it that we don't become to this point right now? Wild well, people front running in Sodom, front running. Every time you look on TV, it's some it's some dude masquerading around in a dress and acting effeminate, man. 
And the man makes sure he put it out there so we can see it and so we can gravitate to it. Because we know we're looking at, once again, we look upon our peoples for idols. This is what we're supposed to be doing, wearing dresses. Oh, that's what we're supposed to do? Oh, we're supposed to wear these big long pointy fingernails? Oh, we're supposed to wear these big eyelashes? Oh, that's what we're supposed to do? Oh, we're supposed to get injections all over? Ain't nothing authentic. Everything is artificial in the age of AI. Everything is artificial, artificial, not what the creator gave you. You are shooting up, injecting, masquerading, putting on our covering up the beauty that the most high done gave you. It don't matter if you're a male or female. Males getting injections. Sodomitic males are getting injections. They are. This ain't good, man. This ain't good. Let me move on, homie. Let me move on. I'm on the house top, so I got to keep talking. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Got to keep talking. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Woo. As for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. Yep, we're in a feminist movement now, so the women done took over. Now the women saying they don't need no man. I don't need no man. But you want to have kids so you can milk the man for, you know, you got him on a string now, so to speak. You're going to threaten him with child support, or you're going to do this, that, and the third. But like I say, if that don't work out, then you start taking it out on the kids. You got women out here dating older men, getting them trapped up with kids. If the man already stable or something, the man dumb enough to do it, and now he done got trapped with this young wicked fool that's going to have him out in the streets running behind this young girl, losing his mind. Because in his mind, he think that's his girl. She just married you, dude, so you can take care of her. And this is madness. And it's vice versa. Vice versa. Vice versa. I got a Gentile then showed me in his phone, scrolling through his phone, all he got is Israelite women in his phone. He drive a McLaughlin. All he's showing me, only what made him do that to me, I guess he's trying to throw it in my face or something. I have no idea. But all he's showing me is Israelite women. This is an older guy. He's probably 50. Showing me all these young women, Israelite women in his phone, that what we call now tricking off with him. He's just scrolling through. So they getting with him for the, what they call the bag. By any means necessary now, right? By any means necessary. It is what it is. This how bad it done got, boy. This is what, but like I said, oh, we look at each other and be like, oh, this is what we're supposed to do. Oh, this is what we, this how we do it. This is how we get it. Okay, this is what we do. And we just keep doing it over and over. My goodness, man. It done killed us, man. It done killed us. Verse 12 in the third chapter of Isaiah says, as for my people, children are they oppressors? Yes, they are. Children are they oppressors? They the ones who got the guns on the YouTube at the age of 10. How you got a 40 cal with a 30 round clip? Extended clip at that age. Who gave it to you, man? You're making a video. You got these little bitty boys making these videos. With these auto, semi-automatic weapons. Who gave these kids these weapons? Man? The child found the gun under the bed the other day. Shot a little sister. We keep seeing that story over and over and over again. Children keep finding the gun, killing each other. And if they don't kill each other at that age, by the time they get to be 12, they're out in the street killing each other, stealing cars, killing each other. And they oppress their own people. They turn to their own as they own all the enemy. So here it is. Verse 12 says, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. But the kingdom is set up for the man not to be in the, in the house. The kingdom is set up for the man, the black man, the so-called black man to be effeminate. And we fell for it. So now look at it. It's, an, it's embarrassing. So yeah, we fell for it. All right. Oh, my people. They which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths. Right? They who lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of your paths. Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, LeBron James, Steph Curry. Right? 
All y'all football players. I don't know who they is. I ain't looking at that crap no more. Y'all know who they are. All the sodomites. All of them sodomites. All of them. They destroy the way of your path, man. They lead you right back to them people, man. All these basketball camps, football camps, these people, like that's some kind of good thing to do. Man, these guys know if y'all get in these football camps, they are grooming you, man. LeBron and all them who got basketball camps, you know, these football camps, they are grooming you. Grooming you. But we can't see it. We, all, they shit, all they talk about is what he's worth or show you how good he can play. They don't tell you all the wickedness he got to go through to continue to try to be in the front to keep deceiving you. They don't say that part. So it's a one-sided deal. You know, around the corner from where I am now, the, 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 the devil and his minions are so crafty and so wicked. Ain't nothing but a bunch of, like a whole, the majority is like, it's a Christ around there. And these people don't set up nothing, but they got like three different soccer Soccer uh, fields on one street. They know uh, it's a car. His deal is soccer. And all the countries down below America and all that and all around the world, the major deal is soccer, so to speak. Not football, because y'all don't see all them playing football. That's what they call football, literally, with their feet. They call that football. And they set up three different freaking uh, 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 soccer fields around there to draw them in. We think it's the way to go. We don't see the craftiness in it, man. Because by the time you can indulge yourself in that, I want to be a soccer player, then you find out what it takes. Your mama sell you off or sign you off, and, and then here we go again. The most high going to have to clean up the earth, though. The most high going to have to clean up the earth. Because we just don't see it. We don't see it, man. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 21 through 23. We don't see it, man. I'm telling you about it. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 21 through 23. This ain't a good world to raise no babies up in, man. You ain't bringing them up in the truth. Childish. It's just a waste, man. I'm just being honest with you. Scripture says so too. How has the faithful city become a harlot? You Negroes, it was full of judgment righteous lodged in it but now murder now murder right but now murderers <laughs> that's all we do now right we murder each other we've been doing it so long this is the thing to do and what the rap music say i'm gonna shoot that in i'm gonna kill that in if i catch that in i'm gonna blow it i'm gonna blow it brains out Ain't that what the music say? I know all about it, man. Been there and done that. Verse 22. Thy silver is become dross. Here we go with them conductors again. Silver and gold. Thy silver is become dross. Your wine mixed with water. We back at that again. Mixing the wine, diluting what's pure. Right? Your wine mixed with water. Thy princes are rebellious. Yeah. All your leaders, because I'm not considered a leader in the world. I'm not considered a leader in the world. So all your leaders out there, all the ones y'all look up to, your rappers, your basketball players, your pastors, people on the news, you want to be a news anchor? Huh? You want to be a screenwriter? All of that. Those are your princes. Thy princes are rebellious. They refuse to do right. They're companions of thieves and companions of thieves, them so-called Jews. They want to get that check so bad. They want that bag so bad. They'll do anything. Anything. Ask uh, uh, Jada Pickett. Ask Will Smith. Ask Martin Lawrence. Ask Dave Chappelle. Ask any of them. Any of them. Lil' Kim and them. All of them. Ask them. They, they ain't going to tell you. I bet you that. But their job is to bring you in. My job is to bring you in. So you see the fight? You see the struggle? You see the spiritual warfare? Playing with the mindset? Mm -hmm. Somebody lying. Me and Martin, we look alike. We are the same stock. 
but one of us trying to bring one one way and the other trying to bring the, the, the brother the other way. Somebody lying. I got the scriptures on. I'm going to keep trying to walk in it. They ain't going to be on TV. Laughing, cocking, telling jokes. Keeping you chummy. I ain't going to do that. Verse 23 says that princes are rebellious. All right. And companions of thieves. Everyone loveth gifts. All our people love gifts because the gift destroys the heart. Quick, fast, and a hurry. You ain't going to do no mourning over nobody. Not too long. None of that going to happen because here come the gift. You know, somebody got a bag. Somebody got a sim. Somebody got this. You know, we, you know, we're going to roll this up. We're going to do this. You know, get your mind off of this. Next thing you know, we right back where we was. Below zero again. So far below zero. Right? Everyone loves gifts and followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither the, the cause of the widow come unto them. Period. Ain't got time. Too high. Too high. Too high to serve the most high. Oh, see? It said the most high right there. So he high. He be high. He be high like we do. See, it said the most high. Gotcha. All right. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. Go on and go to heaven and offer the most high a joint or a blunt or a bag when you get there. When you get and when I say go to heaven, I'm talking about your judgment. Make sure you don't forget to do that. Right? Don't forget to do that. Since it's cool with the Most High, don't forget to offer it to him when you get there. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6 says, Therefore say unto the house of Israel, C-O-T-P, Thus says the Most High, the Almighty Allah Hayim, Repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations, all that mess I've been talking about, all your idols, all your little rappers, and all of them that's leading y'all down that dark path, he said, repent and turn away from your idols, man. That's what the most I said. You got to drop LeBron like a rock. Drop him like a rock. You got to drop young Zion like a rock, baby. That's what the most I said. Leave him alone. Let them fall in the pit, in the ditch by themselves. That's what the most I said. Leave him alone. And Ezekiel chapter 14 and 6 says, Therefore says the house, therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus says the most high, the Almighty Allah, repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. It's a warning. He's telling you. He's telling you. All right. Just like somebody keep messing with you. Keep jugging at you, and you be saying, all right, man, you better go ahead on now. Go ahead on now. Quit playing with me, man. That's a warning. Next thing, they're going to keep playing with you, then they're going to jump off, right? That's a warning, though. That's from the Most High. You ain't got to believe me. You ain't got to believe the Most High. They keep doing what you're doing. He's going to show all the unbelievers, all right? Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. He's going to show them all. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. Okay. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. Wash ye, make you clean, and put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Okay. All right, one more time. Isaiah 1 and 16, wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Brother, sister, world, powers to be, O kings of the earth, cease to do evil. Right? Cease to do evil, he says. Wash you clean, wash you, make you clean, and put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. 
Alléluia. Si c'est du evil. Let me jump down to verse 20. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Most High Yahweh, Yahuwah, Bahashem, Omashiach, Yahweh Shah, Yahusha, have spoken it. Right? Verse 20. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the for the mouth of the most high has spoken it. I'm just reading. I'm on the house top. Bring it out. Like a Mashiach said. That's all I'm doing. All right. All right. Uh Isaiah 2 and 18. And the idols he shall utterly abolish. Once again, we're seeing that again in the street, right? Travis Scott, y'all don't blame it on him. You shouldn't have been at the concert. Y'all Negroes know them Negroes wicked. Y'all see everything they doing. Y'all sit around bouncing, jumping up and down, throwing up the devil horn. Negro on the news done killed kill somebody on Thanksgiving, killed his mama them somebody on Thanksgiving. He done throw the devil horns up on top of his head on the news in the police station. See, this supposed to be cool. I, I, I'm in there doing this, him. So I'm, I'm doing that, and they showing that. That's how, how we gravitate the madness, man. Like it, just like you know, sagging of the pants. Oh, this is what we supposed to be about. This what, this is what's happening. So everybody do. You got fifty. You got Nick Rose with gray hair like me. Still, still think that like my ox said. He still think he got it. Old women, older than me, still doing what the young folk doing. Wearing camouflage. I'm looking around. You older than me. You still trying to be like them? Won't grow up, dog. Be different. Be different. Be different. Wow. Grow up, man. This is sad, man. But the devil got to, devil's children got to be by their bending. You know, whatever daddy said do or whatever mama said do, that we got to do, right? Them the, them the children of, children of Satan. Isaiah chapter 2 and 18, and the idols he shall utterly abolish. You're going to kill off your idols, cut your head off, meaning the one you follow me, going to kill them. Ain't nobody going to be left but COTP. And you're going to seek to kill us, but it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Sorry, man, but it ain't going to happen. Okay? Luke. Chapter 21 and 23. All right. Luke chapter 21 and 23. All right. Book of Luke chapter 21, verse 23. But war unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days, in these days. Why? For there shall be great distress in the land or in the world and wrath upon this people. He got to clean this place up. It got to be wrath upon this people. The children ain't worthy of being here, man. Why we, like I said, you see two guys in the store, two sodomites in the store with a child. Who, how did he get this child? Was it his wicked sister that said, watch my, my, my daughter for me? While I go to the club or go to the barbecue or with the two lesbians walking around with a child. One and one of the one of the okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two women, one of them a manly figure, the other one freak. Now they're going to get artificial um insertions nowadays. And they're gonna bring in a child together. And why they doing that, the baby the, 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 the one chick already got kids. I see the kids calling the other butchy woman daddy. All right. I'm just telling you what the scriptures say. But woe unto them that are all with child and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. Why? Because your, your children got to play with other children some kind of way. They mix and mingle and strong drink with water. 
a strong wine with water. Two different kind of philosophies, philosophies going to bump head. Right? And when you're naive, you get sucked up. And children are naive, or even more so. They don't know no better, man. That's just, they're just playing with kids. How many people investigate the parents of other kids before they allow their kids to just play with kids? I mean, really? Really? Kids outside playing? That's how we used to do. We used to grow up and go down there and play with the kids. We didn't know. But nobody looking to see about the parents who they're playing with children. But then that thing, you know, you go over their house, ain't nothing but a bunch of women in the house having a good time sitting around kicking it. Ain't no man now. Your child keep going in and out of that house for two, three, four years. He done, he done became accustomed to that lifestyle, man. Already. And you as a parent don't care because you down the street getting high in your own house. While your cat, your kid up the street giving you a break, you down the street getting high at your house. You got some me time, right? Gotcha. I ain't lying. Y'all know I ain't lying. The Most High says, there shall be great distress in this land or in the world and wrath upon this people. So, better hold on to them, man. I'm just reading scriptures. I'm on the house top screaming it out. All right? Let me go to uh, Sirach 16, 1 through 3. Right? Ecclesiasticus, chapter 16, verse 1 through 3. I'm going to get it again and I'm going to quit. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons, period. But all people do, and the people of the world do. I see it all the time. Don't make no difference what nation, nationality you are. Don't matter. I keep seeing it, and it's going up through the roof. That's why the Most High said it's going to be wrapped upon this land. He's going to bring, uh, he said, if you rebel and you refuse, you're going to die by the sword. I keep seeing all nations with these kids, with their parents, that are very, very unprofitable kids. Why are they unprofitable? Because they're sitting here walking with their parents. And, and they already are of the other agenda. It's a goal. It's okay. The parents are co-signing and condoning this. You know? It's the unconditional love. Unconditional love. Don't love them, don't make no matter what the most I say or nobody say. This came out of my womb. Well, your womb is a wicked womb, then. If you proclaiming that, this came out of my womb. It's mine. Wow. So you're going to say that out of rebellion. That's what you're going to say. That's my boy. That's my boy. I'm his daddy. Da, 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 da. You need to worry about yours. That's true. That's true. So the more and more I keep seeing this madness out there, that's what I tell the most. I let me stop on a dime. Let me go back to me. Let me just look at this. Let me check this out. Let me look at me. And pray to the most high. Please, please, please help me. Keep me. Stay me. Please. Please don't turn me over. But all the stuff I'm talking about now, if I fall away or get disrespectful to the most high or give up, avenue I'm going down, I told you, at the swimming pool, I'm going to jump in. Where everything goes. They're going to devour me, dude. Chapter 16 in uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 1 through 3. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children. Neither delight in ungodly sons. Early. Right? When he said the people that rule over thee cause thee to err. Right? Children are their oppressors and women rule over them. This ghetto madness. The whole world is a ghetto now. The whole world is a ghetto and even worse, even worse. Verse two, though the multi, though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except the fear of the most high be with them. There you go. Trust not thou in their life, period. Neither respect their multitude, none of they, none of that. They homies or whoever, the multitude of all these wicked kids out here, don't respect none of it. 
because they all gravitate on the same way, right? Because when you're coming up, you try to do what your homies do. We try to do what, what, what our generation do. But the world is finished now. There's no righteousness in this place. I just read it. In Luke 21 and 23, see, I said, woke to these kids, man. Or, woe to anybody that got a kid in this place. This is going to be the stress and judgment upon this place, man. Destruction is coming. He got the clean. All right. Verse, um, verse three. Trust thou, trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude. For one that is just is better than a thousand. And better it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. And that's common sense, you know what I'm saying? But once again, be my children, you know. Be my children. Big mama love you, it don't matter. Mama love you, it don't matter however, whatever. If my son grow up and want to be a girl and keep demanding to everybody around him that he is, he is a he is a she and not a he, they start saying that. Well, she this and she that, that's a boy. Clearly, that's a boy, but his mama then fell under him and started calling him her. Well, she, uh, well, we, me and her went to, and we got our nails did. This is how it happened, man. Condoning that. Most I ain't playing with this. This whole wicked place is, we, we were born in the witchcraft and divination, sorcery. Right? All of it is fantasy. And freaking all, uh, like I say, uh, 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 who was born under under wickedness, man? Who was just born under wickedness, man? And it's all witchcraft, sorcery. That's all it's been, and that's all it is. I don't care about none of your parents, mine or yours. It don't matter to me. They all want you to stay wicked with them, right? They can hear this word. They don't phase them. Because the most high ain't in them. They're part of the wicked. You can get mad with me or whoever else out there talking and bringing a message out like that. That don't change the truth. Just because you get upset. That don't change the truth. You're just a mad, wicked person. You're just going to be upset and wicked. That's all. Moving on. Isaiah chapter 2 and 5. Moving on. Book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 5. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 5. O house of Jacob, come ye, and let us walk in the light of the Most High. Right? Yes. O house of Jacob, come ye, and let us walk in the light of the Most High. So we can teach the world how to get themselves together. Put the world back straight like it should be and not crooked. That's our duty. Once again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 2 through 6. This is our job. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 2 through 6. Okay. But even after that we had suffered before and were shamefully entreated, for bringing this out on the housetop, as you know, at Philippi or over here in modern day Babylon, Sodom and Egypt, and pre flood, we were bold in our almighty power or almighty Allah to speak unto you the gospel of the almighty Allah with much contention. They're right, we ain't holding back nothing when the Mashiach said what I tell you. In secret, you go out and speak it in the open. What I tell you in darkness, you go out and speak it in the light. Right? What I proclaim to you inside, you go out on the housetop and speak it outside. Paraphrasing. But y'all know. That's what he said do. So we're going to do it with much contention. There's going to be issues, going to be problems. But it don't matter. That's what you call, when, when there's a problem, that's detox. You're going through some. You know, you content when you're going through something and it messes with you, your body going through a freaking uh a transition or transformation, you know. 
If there ain't no contention, then it don't phase them. But when there's contention, it phases them. And when it phases them, they it registered. They might not might not uh, 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 change right then, but it registered. Okay. Verse three says, "For our exhortation was not of deceit, no, it would, nor of uncleanliness, nor in guile, but as we were allowed of the Almighty Allah to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, right? Not as pleasing men, but the Almighty Allah which trieth our hearts. That's what we got to do. Verse five, for neither." At any time, use we flattering words, as ye know, nor a cloak of covetousness. The Almighty Allah is witness. Nor of men sought we glory, neither of you, nor yet of others. Period. When we might have been burdensome as the apostles. Oh, Amashiachi, how it shall. Yeah, we were burdensome and we are burdensome because don't know about it. The wicked don't want to hear what I'm bringing out. Yeah, it's burdensome. It's burdensome. They don't want to hear, but they're going to have to keep getting said and brought out because that's the says the Most High. We do this in the name of the Most High, the Almighty Allah, higher. not trying to condition or please men. We're trying to help your wicked behind. So we got to do that. That's our job. All right. That's our job. That's our job. Moving on. Let's go to um, Proverbs chapter 8. Moving on. Verse 1 through 9. Proverbs chapter 8. Verse 1 through 9. Okay. The book of Proverbs chapter 8. Verse 1 through 9. Doth not wisdom cry? And understanding, put forth her voice. That's what I'm doing. I'm on the housetop screaming, crying. That's what I got to do. She's standing in the top of high places. See that? By the way, in the place of the path. Yeah, all down through here. No matter if ain't nobody stopping or nothing, I'm prophesying to the wind. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. People see me down here all the time. But they ain't fixing to stop here. If I'm wicked, I wouldn't stop here neither. I'm going to keep pushing. Right? Verse 3 says, no, verse 2. Let's, let's start from the top. Does not wisdom cry and understand and put forth, forth her, her voice? She stands up in the top of high places by the way in the places of the paths. That's right. Block y'all. She cried at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. All right? O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. Mine's definitely, because I'm going to be bringing it out these scriptures. I know them to be right. Don't care if don't nobody want to believe in the scriptures or not. Only non-believers and wicked people don't believe in the, in the Most High because they don't want to do what the Most High said do. Yeah, of course you're going to claim that you're a non-believer. So when something bad happens to you, don't please don't call on the Most High. Don't call on the Most High. Secure your own problem. Leave him out. Verse 7. For my mouth shall speak truth. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Hallelujah. For my mouth shall speak truth. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Right? Verse 8. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. Because I'm speaking thus says the Most High. They are all plain to him that understandeth. And write to them that find knowledge that the spirit rests upon. Them, right? They're all plain to them that have understanding, that's willing to have an ear, that ain't got pride on them. It's plain, it's easy to see. We know two men on four to be together and two women. 
oh, my fault. But the world said they can do what they want to do. Stay out of them folk business. If they choose, if he choose to be with a man, that's his business. If she choose, that so let's let let's just let the world continue going right on down that path it's going. But don't nobody, and then don't nobody want the destruction to come because it's a price to pay for this transition or this transformation. In order for this world to get clean, it's got to get ugly. But don't nobody want to see the ugly. We want to just let this world stay nasty and filthy like it is. You a nasty and filthy person too. If you want to see this place continue to go down the path it's going, not considering kids and you, just because you want to please you, you one of the worst and the worst filthiest. And you need to be dealt with too. And you keep being that way, you're going to be dealt with. I just told you the most high said it's going to be distress and wrath. The wrath is coming upon the land. This ain't the place to be. This ain't the place to be. That it, 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 It's over, man. Playtime is over. It's over. Fun time is over. Right? First John chapter 2 and 18. Sorry about that, y'all. Ain't nobody mad for grown folks. Same grown folks that was in Genesis at the Tower of Babel. Same wicked ones that going to get together, get on the team of the, uh, of the United States or whoever, the nations, and try to fight against the coming destruction. Rooting for them. Believing in them lies. When they don't understand, even the wicked ones or the evil ones work for the most high to bring this transition in. Dumb dumbs. Dumb dumbs. First John chapter two, verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist, or that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. All y'all out there in that Christ that don't want to hear the scriptures, don't want to receive or believe in the word of the Most High, all of that bash COTP, right? All those that got a problem, right? With the scriptures coming out or being said or talked about in your household, all those that got a problem with COTP, always talking about the Most High every time his mouth or her mouth open up. Everybody want to hear some worldly, uh, some worldly opinion when we having some kind of conversation. I'm not finna talk like that. That's craftiness, and the world wants you to slick, keep talking like that. They just want to have formal and regular conversations. Nah, they're trying to bring you down, man. They're trying to bring you back, and that's what you call witchcraft. Don't fall for it, family. Don't fall for it. First John chapter two and eighteen. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that the Antichrist shall come, even now are there many in that Christ. Whereby we know that it is the last time. Yeah, there's many of them because they're all over the four corners of the earth working. Right? They got to continue that work. To continue have these idols in your family, on TV, or anywhere else. Politicians, it doesn't matter. Musicians. Classroom teachers, supervisors at your job, don't really matter. Your grandmama and them, all of them and that Christ. If they ain't telling you, bring your butt back to the most high and let's move out of the way of his destruction. They are deceiving you, man. They are deceiving you. They are deceiving you. Can't say you didn't know. I'm going to read verse 15 through 17. Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father or the Creator is not in him. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father or the Creator is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world 
and the world was given into the hand of the wicked. Satan. So it's either or. Deceive yourself or trick yourself. However you want to do it. Verse 17. And the world passes away. And the lust thereof going right with it. But he that doeth the will of the Almighty, Allah abideth forever. Because the most high is in all infinity power. Everlasting. Everlasting. Right? I don't know who believes it. I know COT believe it. And at 144 in the remnant, they believe it. And the strangers are so joined us that listen, taking heed to the gospel that's being screamed out on the housetop, they believe it. All right. Second Ezra chapter 8, 40 through 41. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 40 through 41. Like as I have spoken now, so, so shall it come to pass. Like I have, like as I have spoken now, so shall it come to pass. This is thus says the Most High. For as the husbandman soweth much seed upon the ground, right, and planted many trees, and yet the thing that he sown or that he planted, let's get it. He said, and yet the thing that is sown good in his season cometh not up, right? <laughs> he said he's sown it good, you know, got to work, whatever it is. Whatever it is you sowing out here, be it righteousness or unrighteousness. But right now, let's go and get the thing that is sown good in his season cometh not up. Right? Neither does all that is planted take root. Y'all hear that? Neither does everything that is planted take root. If you've ever been out trying to start a garden, sometimes your tomatoes don't come up or your beans don't come up. You planted them. You got the soil. You got around there. And you had your gloves on and mix the soil up real good. Put the, put the extra stuff in it you need. And you're doing it in this due season, in the season it's supposed to be in. And you sit around and wait for it to happen. And it never happens. Oh, some, some, some sprouts up, but don't then come off the leaves. You don't see no tomato. Or you don't see no, 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 no or squash. You don't see it. But the, 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 the sprout came up, but it didn't bring forth fruit. So let's get it again. For as the husband so the husbandman sowed much seed upon the ground and planted many trees, all kinds of stuff. And yet, the thing that is sown good in his season cometh not up. Neither does all that is planted take root. Wow. Even so is it of them that are <clears throat> of them that are sown in the world. They shall not all be saved. Just because you were born in the world, that don't mean you're going to escape this destruction. Right? Just because you were born in this world don't mean you're going to escape this destruction, man. You know? Don't mean that you're going to escape this destruction. He says, and yet the thing that is sown good in its season cometh not up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You've been talking about the most high to him, trying to bring this gospel to him. Year after year, day by day, still ain't, it ain't selling. Ain't no fruit came from it yet, right? Ain't no fruit came from it yet. Neither does all that is planted take root. Yeah, so yeah, you can plant some stuff. You can keep talking to them, to your mama and them, and all of them to their face turn turquoise. But it ain't taking root. You can keep talking to your son and your daughter and them, all that, it ain't taking root. Because the world, Satan got him bound up, wrapped up. Got that, 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 um, he got a, a, a cord around their neck and he pulling them and yanking them like he wants to. They're a dog for Satan, right? And got a choke chain on them. He or how? Even so, is it 
of them that are sown in the world, tied up, can't get out, caught up, caught up in the rapture. They shall not all be saved. They shall not all be saved. And that's the word that's going forth. And that them came forth from on the housetop. That's the housetop gospel, right? That's the housetop gospel. Most I put it together, I write it down, go up on the housetop, and I shout it out. That's all I can do. So with that, I said, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Right? Our honor, glory, praises go up and out to the most high. Yahweh, 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 Hashem. Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah, Yahweh, Shah, Yahweh, Allah. Stay strong and stay focused. Keep praying to the most high. Keep watching. Watch how the wicked moving. Always stay way ahead of your enemy. Way ahead of them. So by the time they get to where they're going and they think they done did something, you be already there waiting on them with that sword. With that sword. All right? So with that being said, I want to thank the Most High again for allowing me to reverence him. Have a mouth to speak these words. Thus says the Most High. Call me, I shall all COTP. Stay strong. Most High winner. Do it again. Shalom. Shalom.